Open and closed figures. In this module, you will learn about the topic Open and Closed Curve, Angle, Triangle, Quadrilateral and Circle. Have you seen such figures? These are called as curves. The curves which do not overlap each other or intersect at any point are called simple curves. Observe these curves. They are made of straight lines. Some of the curves are open. They are called as simple open curve. While some are closed and they are called as simple closed curve. In mathematics, straight line is also called as a curve. A simple open figure made up of only two rays is called an angle. Now, look at these figures. Here some are entirely made of line segment, while some have curved lines. While a simple closed figure with a definite number of line segments is called a polygon. A polygon separates a plane into three parts. Interior of the polygon boundary of polygon and exterior of polygon. The interior of polygon together with its boundary is called its region. Now, if you see this figure, it is neither angle nor polygon. It is a simple closed figure formed by a point moving at same distance from a fixed point called as a circle. An angle is formed when a corner is formed. It is a shape formed by two lines or rays diverging from a common point. We can see here an angle is formed between these objects. In this figure, if we move the hands of the fan, the angle between them also increases. Imagine two rays, OA and OB, with a common end point, O. The rays OA and OB here are said to form an angle. These two rays forming an angle are called arms or sides of the angle and the common end point O is called vertex of the angle. As the angle is formed at O, we read it as angle AOB or angle BOA and it is denoted by angle AOB or angle BOA or simple angle O. Now here, if we look at points X, S and Z, point X lies in the interior of angle AOB. S lies on the arms of angle AOB. If we extend ray OA and OB, we see that Z is not in the interior. It is in the exterior of angle AOB. Therefore, angle divides a plane in three parts, interior bounded by Two side, angle and exterior, which is outside the angle. A simple closed figure made by three line segments is called a triangle. The line segments are called the side of the triangle and the point at which two line segments meet is called the vertices or vertex. Look at this figure. Here are three line segments AB, BC and CA forms a triangle are called the sides of a triangle A, B and C are the vertices of the triangle ABC. Also angles BAC, ABC and ACB are formed at the vertices. The triangle ABC can be denoted as a triangle is a polygon therefore it has an exterior and an interior region. Here in triangle ABC, points O, S and T lies in the interior of triangle. Point P and R lies on the boundary and points U and V lies in the exterior of triangle ABC. Therefore, a triangle divides a plane into three parts, interior of the triangle, boundary of the triangle and exterior of the triangle. The boundary and the interior of the triangle together is called triangular region. We have seen a polygon with three sides called as triangle. 
Now let us learn a polygon with more sides. A simple closed polygon with four sides is called a quadrilateral. Here four line segments AB, BC, CD and DA forms a quadrilateral ABCD. AB, BC, CD and DA are called the sides of a quadrilateral. Angle A, angle B, angle C and angle D are its four angles and the line segment joining opposite vertices A, C and B, D, namely AC and BD are called its diagonals. A quadrilateral also divides a plane into three parts known as interior, boundary and exterior of the quadrilateral as seen in triangle. Here in this plane, the shaded part quadrilateral ABCD is its interior part, while the unshaded is called exterior part and the segment AB, BC, CD and DA together are its boundary. AB and CD and BC and DA are the opposite sides of quadrilateral ABCD. Side AB is adjacent to sides BC and DA. Similarly, the adjacent sides of BC are sides AB and CD. Adjacent sides of CD are sides BC and DA and sides adjacent to DA are side AB and side CD. Pairs of opposite angles are angle A and C and angle B and D. The adjacent angle of angle A is angle B and angle D. Similarly, adjacent angle of angle B is angle A and angle C. Adjacent angle of angle C is angle B and angle D. An adjacent angle of angle D is angle A and angle C. If we trace a bangle on a paper, we get a round shape. Such a round shaped figure is called a circle. If we observe a bicycle wheel, it is circle in shape. There is a point in the middle of wheel called as center of the circle. The length of the curve edge is called the circumference of circle. And distance from center to any point on circle is called its radius. Here in figure, O is the center and segment OA, OB and OC are the radii of the circle. The line joining any two points on the circumference of the circle is called a chord of the circle. Here line segment CD and AC are the chords of the circle. The chord passing through the center of circle is called the diameter of the circle. Here AC is the diameter. If we notice the length of AC is the length of AO plus length of OC. That is diameter is twice of the radius of the circle. In a circle the distance between any two points on circumference of a circle is called an arc of circle. Here CD is the arc of circle denoted by arc CD. As triangle and quadrilateral circle is also a closed figure, so it divides the plane with its boundary as interior and exterior. The region lying in the interior of circle enclosed by boundary is called a circular region. Let us see some other parts of circle now. The region enclosed by an arc and two radii is called sector of the circle. The region with minor part is called minor sector, while region with major part is called major sector. Then region enclosed by an arc and a chord is called segment of a circle. A chord also divides the circle into two segments, major segment and minor segment. And the region enclosed by an arc and a diameter is a semicircular region. Let us summarize all that we learnt in this module on open and closed figures.